Well, a lot of you um, have pointed out that I need to really clean up the engine block, get it super clean. Um, I was about to test fit the uh, main bearings and rod bearings using plastic gauge. Um, but now I'm going to, I took the engine block off the stand and I had some straps for the car trailer. I'm just going to lower it into the wash tank and uh, clean out all the, it has a, this is a pretty high, it's got a pretty good high pressure stream of mineral spirits. So I'm going to put that in all the oil passages and, uh, and let it uh, really clean everything out real good. Um, I've just got to get this lowered. There we go, right into there. And then, um, see these two, these are two uh, steel, I don't want to say ball bearings, they're really just steel balls. Uh, yeah, I just said that. And they plug up the oil um, galleries or oil passages. Here's the two main oil passages. There's one, there's one. And those go all the way through the engine block. And this one right here, if you shine a light into the main bearing holes, you can see the light down in the oil passage. So I'm going to go all the way up here and put that high pressure mineral spirits in this hole right here and just blast all the junk out of there. So I'll see if I can record a little bit of this. Um, uh, I've got the block in here and right here, I don't drop my phone in here, this is full of mineral spirits. Let me get the, the light, see if I can shine it. But here's what we're gonna look for. Um, there we go see the oil passage right there that hole that connects to all the main bearings so I'm gonna just see if this theory works here I'm gonna turn on the uh, wash tank and then put this down in the main oil passage all right there we go all right, yeah, so you see that? Let's see if I can get it lined up better. There we go. See how it's flushing out the main oil passage? And I can do that through each of these. Oil passages for the main bearings. See it flushing it out there? Um, ooh, that's a good one. I think that's the center main. Yeah, that's the center one. So it looks like the main cap has a larger, the, the center cap or center bearing has a larger hole than the rest of them. And I've got the engine tilted towards this side. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to just scrub everything, you know, real good. There we go. I'm going to scrub everything real good and get this thing all washed up. And then I can, uh... oh, what's cool is this solvent has like a rust inhibitor in it. Um, so it's not going to immediately flash rust, you know, when I take it out of here. It's like mineral spirits with a rust inhibitor. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up real good, then put it back on the uh, stand and uh, yeah, check the main bearing clearance. I've got the block turned over um, in the little cradle I made here, and I was just checking out what the what these uh, the water. I think these are the water passages here. So if I just hold it there, yeah, sure enough, you can see there's where the. I'm just gonna move it to some of these passages back here. All right, this engine is getting no cleaner. Um, this thing has been scrubbed to death. Um, there's a light coat of oil up here to keep it from rusting. Um, that's a little bit of a rusty section there. Looks like the gasket went around that section. Um, and then you can see some marks where there's like remnants, like or, or a stain from the gasket. But I went and scraped around.